The totem poles in Stanley Park are the most visited and photographed tourist attraction in British Columbia. Though they are a common symbol for the park in Vancouver, the poles are not actually indigenous to the local region or its native cultures. The park board originally purchased four totems from Alert Bay in the 1920s and placed them at Lumberman's Arch to promote tourism. Paradoxically, the four totems represented the Haida, Kwakwakwak, and Niska, First Nations groups from northern BC, but did not represent the Coast Salish, who claimed legal title to the lands of what is now Stanley Park. Connected to the colonial project and preservation of Northwest Coast art, these totems erase Coast Salish presence from the space through the absence of their cultural histories. Instead, the totems have come to symbolize so-called authentic native art and have become commodities used to sell the space as more natural and culturally significant. In 2008, the Coast Salish, Squamish, and Musqueam bands were finally recognized in this space with the construction of three welcoming gateways at Brockton Point, correcting a historical inaccuracy that persisted for nearly a century. Next time you gaze upon the totems, consider who and what the totems speak for and which voices are absent from this historical representation. Monuments offer glimpses into the past but complicate contemporary understandings of culture, particularly those at Brockton Point.